is for punctures. The wisdom states that adventure bikes should always have spoked wheels. And this is the case with the 790 Adventure. Practicality tells us that tubeless tyres are easier to deal with should bad luck intervene and reward you with a puncture. Having to change a tube in the middle of nowhere is no longer my idea of fun. So, the spoked tubeless wheel is a good compromise for all but the most hardcore off-road folks. To this end, I am glad KTM equipped my bike with tubeless tyres. Of course, on close inspection you can see they are more or less traditional spoked wheels. They do not have the through rim spoke design of some other manufacturers. A plus point for the Tiger then. So they must use KTM's own gasket style seal across the entry point of the spokes. I bought a similar system for my Africa Twin and have even tried, with some success, homebrew sealant and 3M tape solutions in the dim and distant pass on other bikes. None of this is required here, and after one year I am pleased to say all has been well. KTM appear to have nailed it. Mmm, nailed. Not a good expression in this context. In any event, I always carry a plug-in kit. In fact, I carry two. I also stick a mini compressor in the saddlebags if I'm off on tour somewhere. Word of caution, if you use a compressor, attach it directly to the battery when you use it, rather than via the cigarette star lighter socket. I tried this and the surge took out the 10 amp fuse immediately, and this also supplies the heated grips. There was a spare fuse or two supplied in the bike. I also carry spare ones just in case, but I digress. Being an electromechanical device, even these little compressors take a big surge of current when they first fire up. Anyway, for everyday type riding, I just take the kit. It has CO2 canisters, which might be enough to get some inflation into a repaired tyre, enough to get me home anyway. It came with a fairly brutal style plug-in system, which definitely will work, but I prefer to use a less intrusive Dynaplug Ultralight if the hole is not too big. I made a video about this, which I'll link at the end. In theory, it would be possible to remove a nail or screw and plug the hole with a Dyna plug without the tyre deflating. However, it's my experience you usually don't realise you have a puncture until it feels weird and by then it's too late. So, CO2 or compressor please. Thank you. P is also for polish. The swing arm and frame of my bike are all black painted. I find, after washing and drying the bike, then a quick waft of Silkaline Pro Prep brings these up nicely. Do not spray it on your brakes or discs, obviously. It is less tacky than ACS50 and dirt seems to stick less and it is then easier to clean off next time. It brings up the black parts really nicely. It might also prevent some corrosion, but probably it's less effective than ACF50 would be. However, if you ride in the winter in the UK, then washing the bike regularly is essential due to salt. So I spray it with this stuff regularly. Little and often perhaps better than a seasonal soaking of ACF50. Keep it off your brakes, foot pegs and tyres, obviously. 